guys, so today's video is going to be all about the fall trends you need to be looking out for. So I'm going to talk about, you know, shoe trends, clothes trends, what you need to be wearing to be cool in fall. Um, <laughs> and I just, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I know what you're thinking, Lauren, it's still August. Why are you putting out a fall video? No, it's still summer. And... I know that I'm not the only fashion YouTuber, blogger that's like chomping at the bit to put out fall content, so I thought, why not be the first? So if you are seeing this as your first fall related video, make sure you comment down below, give it a thumbs up. You know you want it. <laughs> Fall is the best, so just enjoy all the trend videos you're about to get. Um, but anyway, let's get right into the video. The first trend I'm going to talk about today is texture. And basically, that's like the fabrication of your garment. So if you're wearing a jacket, it's the type of jacket you're getting. The um, texture is just what it's kind of made out of. So the trends that I'm seeing in texture right now are for sure faux shirling, faux fur, suede, satin. There's so many textures happening and of course you're gonna see a ton of velvet. Velvet was a little bit popular last season. We saw it kind of raring up and ready to go last season. I actually thought there was so much velvet that it wasn't going to be as popular this season, but it's back. It's ready to go. It's in your jackets, in your shoes, in your pants. You can literally get anything in velvet at this point. Um, and even stuck around in summer in like tank tops and stuff. So I think velvet is going to continue to be important. So a fabrication that is really new this season is um, suede. And I feel like suede's been pretty important in shoes this season. I feel like it's we're going to see it more so in outerwear and tops and bottoms as opposed to shoes. I mean, we're also going to see it in shoes. It's always kind of going to be in shoes, but I feel like this season it's going to be a lot more in outerwear and tops and bottoms. So one piece from Zara actually that I really love that's in faux suede is this gorgeous trench style that's fully faux suede and I actually featured it in a blog post recently on the pieces you need to pick up in the color of the season which I'm going to mention later in the video um, for color trends but um, I really love the style. I think it's so elegant, but also fashion forward, something you could dress up and dress down and really make your own, um, but also is so luxe because it's that faux suede. Um, I'm really loving that. I'm also really feeling faux fur and faux shearling this season. I really think it was kind of same thing as velvet, kind of rearing up at the end of the season. Um, and I think it's just going to come out in full force. I saw this gorgeous hot pink faux fur jacket from H&M. Zara also has some faux fur jackets. Um, I just believe it. It's so fun, you know? Faux fur is like, you feel like, you know, those old Hollywood glamour girls who went around in their little fur boas and stuff. I just think faux fur is so fun. It can be glamorous. It can be rock and roll. You can play around and really make faux fur and faux shirling your own. So really loving that as well. The next trends I'm going to talk about are trends in print. And there are three prints that I think are going to be really important this season. They are the polka dot, the Prince of Wales check, and the vertical stripe. Now we saw polka dots a little bit in the summer. They kind of crept in in your little tank tops and sundresses and that sort of thing and now I think we're gonna see a lot more in bottoms and outerwear and sweaters um, this season. I think polka dots are super fun and feminine um, and there's a lot of ways to play around with polka dots. You can have a big giant polka dot, you can have little tiny polka dots, you can have the perfectly round ones have a little bit more of a kind of abstract polka dot. I think there's a lot of room to play around with the polka dot, so I think that's going to continue to be important. And I think, um, personally, I'm excited to play around with the scale of polka dots within an outfit. So do a small scale polka dot on, like, my top, and then a larger scale polka dot on, like, 
my bottom or a jacket. I think that'll be really, really fun. So uh, the other print is the Prince of Wales check, and um, I think that's what it's called. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> um, I've only ever seen it from British bloggers, and that's what they call it, but definitely let me know if it's called something else in America, and that's what I will refer to it as. Um, I really love this. I think it's... Um, I don't know why there's so many masculine-leaning trends this season, but I feel like it's kind of on the more masculine side, um, which I love. I love a good masculine um, kind of trend, to be honest. I think there's so many things out there that are so girly and fitted and tight that I think um, kind of styling something to fit your personal style um, that's on the masculine side is more of a challenge. I love styling masculine pieces with more feminine ones and I think the Prince of Wales check is one way to do so. Um, Zara has a coat from them that I'm dying to buy. It's $129 though I think and it's so beautiful though. It's like long duster length and it's just so gorgeous. Maybe that's H&M. I'm not sure. I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out. Um, it's just so beautiful. And I think that's, I have so many blazers already and like trousers that I don't really need any in that print. So I think I would definitely stick with more of a outerwear piece for that um, this season. Finally is the vertical stripe and this is one of my favorite trends for our fall because it's so slimming. <laughs> you can put a vertical stripe on anything and it's going to make you look leaner and taller and I think that's a really nice thing to have. I, a few seasons ago, god actually it was probably a couple years ago at this point, so I was a senior in high school and I was going out for interviews and I bought this like vertical stripe top and I still have it. I wear it non-stop, it's black and white, it's super old from Forever 21, it's lasted and I just love it. I wear it all the time and I just can't get enough and it's because it's so slimming and it looks so good with everything that I just think it's just a great trend. Um, Zara's doing this a lot, um, H&M, everyone's kind of got their own version and I think that um, pants and bun downs are the two styles that I would look for in that trend. Next I'm going to talk about color and the three colors that I think are super important for fall are red, yellow, and green. Um, first is red and that is was in reference to the blog post that I've written uh, on thefaceofstyle.com and it's just such a bold color. Red has been on trend since the summer and I think it's going to stay on trend into next summer. It's so bold. I feel like right now um, in the world of fashion it's so about empowerment and I think um, red is such an empowering color, you know, no one's going to miss you in red. So I think it's going to be, you know, that bold true red and I think that really any sort of style would look really beautiful in red. Uh, H&M is doing this gorgeous um, short sleeve jumpsuit that I think everyone needs to go and buy. It's so beautiful. Um, but that's in a gorgeous red color. Um, the other color that, uh, the other colors that I think are important are the yellow and the green. The yellow uh, is so fun. That's another one that kind of came in from summer and it kind of started off as more of like a, like a dusty, sunshiny yellow and now it's kind of moving more into the more saturated, golden, rich tone. Um, that I think is more fitting for fall, kind of like that in more of the mustard family. I love yellow and I'm so excited for this one because I think it's going to be something that's a little more wearable. Sunshiny yellow and dusty yellow is a little bit harder for um, more pale skinned people to wear. So I think that um, having something that's a little more um, universal is something that's great. Uh, I think having these rich saturated colors is really going to make spring, it's really going to make fall really exciting in, um, with colors. The final color is actually green and this is a new color for the season and um, I keep thinking of Megan Ellaby because she always refers to it as bottle green and so it's this like neutral toned green that is kind of on the deep side so it's got that rich tone but it's not overpowering like the yellow or the red would be. I feel like this is going to be more of something that 
if you're not sure about color, this would be something I would try. I would go and start with the green and then move on to the red and the yellow because this is something that's a little more wearable, more on the olive side. You can play with it a little bit more. So, um, I think it's such a rich, gorgeous color. So, H&M is doing such a great um, suede skirt in this color. There's also a really gorgeous jumpsuit on their website. I'll definitely um, show those two on the screen. And I think those are really great pieces to wear for it. I mean, I feel like this is going to be a great piece to pair with other things because it's kind of a color that's more wearable than the other two. And I just, I love that color of green. I think it's just so luxe and gorgeous and makes you feel like you're wearing something special. Next I'm going to move on to some accessory trends and the first one is the Baker Boy hat. I think this is another trend that's a little more on the masculine side, you know. It's like the winter baseball cap and um, I think it's something fun, something new. You know, we've kind of had brimmed hat styles for a while now and I think it's time to kind of change the shape up. Um, I love pairing masculine things with feminine things and that's what I intend to do with this style. Um, I think this is an easy trend to wear. I think if you want to try some fall trends, this is one of the ones to do because it's not something you really have to commit to. You know, hats are not that expensive. You can get like a hat for less than $20, try it out, see how you feel. Um, and you know, see how you like the trend. I really like this because I do like that masculine kind of end. Um, I think this would be really cute with like a floral maxi dress though too. So I think this is one of those trends that can be easily kind of worn to fit your style because it is, you know, basic. It's something that you can wear with a lot of different things. So I think if you're going to try one fall trend, this should definitely be it. For sh shoe trends, I did a whole blog post on this. I'll definitely link it down below. There's six shoe trends that I really feel like are important for fall. Um, Two of them that are super important being the sock boot and the mule. Um, if you want to know more about that, definitely check out the blog post. Um, as for uh, kind of materials, I believe that anything that we're seeing in texture and fabrication in clothing that's important are also going to be important in shoes. Um, velvet, patent, um, satin, anything like that we're seeing in shoes. Um, and we're also seeing a lot of like um, stiletto heels, not very happy about that. I'm more of like a block or cone heel sort of girl, but you know, we had a block heel for so long that I'm not really surprised it's back to a stiletto heel. Um, and you know, we're kind of moving in the direction of seeing more of those stiletto heels. You know, we had the chunky heel for such a long time that um, fashion is kind of moving the pendulum in the other direction. Of course, we're seeing all the loafers, you know, the Gucci loafers were a big inspiration, um, you know, in the past couple of seasons, and I feel like we're still seeing the residual of that. We're seeing different types of loafers, we're seeing high loafers, platform loafers, heeled loafers, flat loafers, mule loafers, so I think loafers are going to be another really important part of fall. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys um, picked out some trends that you're going to enjoy wearing this season. Let me know what trends, um, if I didn't mention any trends that you're really looking forward to wearing, definitely mention those down below. I want as much inspiration for fall as I can get. I'm so excited to really try out the trends. Um, if you want to, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, um, me kind of me talking about trends and my take on them and what I'm seeing out there then definitely like this video and I will do more like them and if you don't want to miss anything from me um, make sure to subscribe I put out new videos every Sunday so make sure you press that subscribe button so you don't miss anything and I'll see you guys in the next one bye We got this. We got this. Okay. <coughs> Ooh. Ooh. So the first so <laughs> So first the first trend. Oh,